Hey, I'm Maddie. I'm going to take you through a seven minute workout. We're going to do 12 moves, 30 seconds of work, and 10 seconds of rest. Here we go. First move. You're going to drop down to a squat and jump up. We call this a frog jump. Ready? Let's go. Deep squat, getting as low as you can and then reaching as high as you can up to the ceiling. Feel a nice burn in your quads as you do this. You can rib it if you want. Whatever makes it fun for you. <laughs> Good. Big jump. Keep that going. Nice and done. We've got 10 seconds left. Big squat. Keep going. A little bit faster. Push through. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Next one. It's going to be a dumbbell row in 10 seconds. You're going to bend over like a teeter totter and pulling your arms into your armpits. Let's go. Nice and tight. Try to keep that balance on your one leg the entire time. You can use whatever size dumbbells you feel comfortable. Light, heavy, move up each time you try it. The goal is to stay parallel to the floor. Back leg nice and high, chest even with the ground. You can have a little knee bend. Three, two, one, rest, good. Grab your fake jump rope. And we're gonna get ready for some high knees with our jump rope. All right, you have a real one. Use that too. Here we go. Nice high knees. We're jumping through, just like our kids playing on the playground. See how high you can get those knees up. That's how you really get that ab burn at the same time. Good, notice how I'm keeping my knees nice and high above my hip line as I do these. 10 seconds. That's it, speed it up. All the way to the end, here we go. Three, two, one. Good, take a rest. And we're gonna get ready for other leg dumbbell row. So now we're balancing on the leg we didn't do before. Same thing, bending over, teeter-totter. Nice little knee bend, just slightly to keep our balance. Back leg parallel to the floor, chest parallel to the floor. Pulling up to our armpits. Try not to bounce. If that gets too hard, just set your foot down, okay? Good, nice big pull in 10 seconds. Almost there. In three, two, woo, one, rest. All right, next one. Oh, you're gonna bring those back up. You're gonna do an oblique side bend, okay? So you're just coming down to one side and back up. Ready, go. Deep bend, up, and the other side, up. These are the ones you won't feel till the next day. And then all of a sudden you're like, why does my side hurt? Stay nice and tight in the abs. Squeeze your butt at the top. Good, go down as low as you can go comfortably without feeling it in your back at all. Just feel it on the sides. 10 seconds. That's it. Keep it going. Good, good, good. Three, two, one, rest. This one you might not have done before. I like to call it a donkey kick. Just gonna go on your hands and feet and add in a little jump off your feet. Ready, go. If you're feeling more advanced, you can go as high as you feel comfortable. If you're not feeling advanced, just try to get off the floor at all. Keep jumping. Try not to add too much bend in the legs. Using your Achilles to push through. You should feel it in your shoulders, a lot of pressure there. Use your hands to grip the floor. That's it. Three, two, one. Rest. Very good. We're going to bring it down to our back for a slow circle crunch. So you're going to go up in a big circle as we crunch. Ready and go. Bring it up nice and high. You should feel a burn as you go through. This one is not a quick one. This is to feel that stabilization as you go through. Keep looking up towards the ceiling. 10 seconds. Keep just going to that same side. Don't worry, we'll hit the other side. Three, two, one, rest. Good, come up onto your hands and knees. Before we go to the other side, we're gonna do a fire hydrant to a kick. Leg comes out and back in. Ready, go. Up, out, down, and in. 
Nice, we're just doing one leg right now, so pick your favorite leg. Start with that one. There's a kick up and down. Try to straighten out all the way. Knee parallel to the floor as you bring your leg up. Okay, you should feel it in your butt. Feel good. Like that. Here we go in five seconds. Very nice. Three, two, one. Yes, good. Come onto your back again. Now we're gonna turn the other way as we crunch. In three, two, one. Go, big lift. Coming around to the other side. Nice. Again, this is not meant for speed right here. This is meant to just feel a constant crunch throughout the whole thing. You should feel it in your upper and your lower abs. Really looking towards the sky as you go through the motion. That's it. About five seconds left. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Back up on your hands and knees for other leg fire hydrant. Ready? Five seconds. Check it out. Here we go. We got this. Three, two, one. Go. Up, out, in and down. Nice. Straight leg at the top if you can. Coming up as high as your hip flexor will allow. We're trying for that parallel to the floor move. seconds. You got it. All the way to the end. Nice reach. Big kick. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. We're going to take it up a notch. Do burpees into a tuck jump. Chest to floor. Bring those knees to your chest as we go. Three, two, one. Go. Chest to floor. Up. And jump. Remember, this doesn't have to be a perfect push up. I just want you rolling down to the ground. Get down there. And then get back Try your best to tuck your knees into your chest. That's it. Speed up just a little bit. Ten seconds. Try to drop quick. And what goes down must come up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. We have one more push up with an opposite arm and leg lift. We're gonna push up and we're gonna reach the sky. Three, two, one. Go. Push up and reach, push up, reach. Good, just keep switching. You can always do this on your knees. Push up, reach for both legs. All right, bring it back up, here we go. We got this. Really squeeze your butt as you go. 10 seconds, big reach, pushing through. And that's it, time, we did it. Great job, guys. Seven minute workout, done.